Aaron Morse is up. Oh, is it? Thanks. Thank you. So um, I made one of my best friends promise me I would not put my name in the fishbowl tonight. And here I stand. So, <laughs> Yay. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm not known as being a very committed person. It's not something that's and a word that's associated with me very often. Out of control is. That's very associated with me. This is a story that meshes both, which is very rare for me. So as many of you probably know, if you've ever been, seen me tell a story before, I ski a lot, like a lot, a lot. Any story I've ever told had to do with skiing, friends with me on Facebook, Snapchat, any social media, it's all about skiing. Um, I go up every Friday night, come home every Sunday night, afternoon night. Um, so I go a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, part of the perks of having what's called a gold pass, it's a season's pass to Sugarloaf, Sunny River, and Loon Mountain, is you get four buddy passes a year, which means you get to have a friend buy a ticket for half price. These people don't usually get to go to these mountains a whole lot. So when they go, they really want to go. So I'm talking to this guy, Garrett. It's really, really cute. And so he's like, yeah, I'd love to use one of your buddy passes. So I'm like, yes, yes, you do want to use one of my buddy passes. So um, it's a Saturday is coming up. So I've already been there since last night. Obviously went out the night before because why wouldn't I? And I get there for first chair. So I'm already on the mountain at eight. He's coming from Kittery. So he gets there at like 10. Any of you who know Sunny River, let's run till eight o'clock at night. So me, my day usually ends around like two, but he doesn't go all the time. So he's like, no, I really want to go. Like, let's just keep hitting some runs. And I'm like, yeah, let's keep hitting those runs. Granted, from what you know from any of my other stories, if you've heard them, the way it works when you ski is it's like, I don't know, three runs, two beers. <laughs> three runs, three beers. And it doesn't go down. So that's why I usually stop around, too. It's a good stopping point. It's probably not a good idea to keep skiing after that many beers. <laughs> that didn't stop me, though. When has a bad idea ever stopped me from doing anything? So um, it's night skiing at this point. It's dark. I don't know how many of you have limited vision, but I'm blind in one eye. My depth perception is already off. Can't see out of my right eye, so I can't see anyone coming off of my right side. Um, night skiing's not a great idea for me, but Garrett's really cute. And my judgment's a little impaired. <laughs> so guess who's going up the gondola at night? <laughs> and we're both advanced skiers, so we are booking it down one of like two trails that are lit up. We are just booking it. And we make it, and I made it. I made it to the bottom without dying. Thumbs up. So I'm like, let's go. We just keep going and going and going. It's about 7.45. So are about to close. It's our last run of the night. <laughs> and we are just tucking it the whole way. We are flying down this, this green trail, this really, really beginner trail. But it's dark. It's nighttime. And people have been skiing on it for three hours in the dark. So it's really rutted. And there are trails that you go over a little bridge, and this little bridge is going over a road. Cars travel on this road. I'm intoxicated. I can't see. And it's not great conditions. And Garrett is ahead of me. And I go out of control. I catch an edge. And instead of turning over the bridge, I fly over the edge. <laughs> towards the pavement with oncoming traffic. <laughs> and a few people have talked about that moment of clarency where you think you're going to die. I felt it. I committed to that death. I was like, I'm going to die. This is it. Dying skiing and dying drinking, the two things I love. <laughs> what better way to go? I am so committed to this right now. 
There is nothing on this like straight drop of a ditch. Nothing at all. It's just blank. There's this one little scrawny bush with like, I don't know, five little measly branches sticking out of it. How? I don't know. Hit one of my ski poles around it. (laughs) And my ski pole caught me on it. So then I'm dangling on a little mini naughty, can't even call it a bush. Straight down, mountain, pavement, me. And then these Canadians are like, you okay? (laughs) (laughs) Why no, I'm not. (laughs) Thank you though. So I have nothing left to do, but just drop down to the road, click out of my skis, climb back up and ski down. Meanwhile, let's not forget, I'm skiing with Garrett, the really cute guy. So I ski down, and I see him standing by the racks where you stop to put your skis up, and he sees me come, and so what does he do? He goes, the international sign for, to fuck you, Ben. (laughs) Excuse me, Garrett, I just died, thank you. (laughs) Needless to say, we haven't been skiing together since. (laughs) Thanks to him, I was committed to dying. (laughs) while doing what I love, skiing and drinking. And I don't do all three of those at once anymore. (laughs) Pick two out of the three, that's my motto now. And that's my story.